Uh, guys, I want to bring up the next comedian. And I just wanted to say that this night has progressively gotten so much more awesome. We got some, we got more people out there. Thank you for coming in. We got, we, we got some bitch giving me the finger. All the way up on stage, she's supposed to perform. Don't she was me. supposed to perform, but she's scared. Just do it. We got a babysitter. Do it. Hey, there's two mics. We, can, I'll stay up here. Five with minutes. You. Bring her up. I'm just, I'm just saying. Dude, bring her do up. five minutes. There you go. Come on. Yeah. I don't owe you $40. For what? Because I haven't listened to your bullshit for this long. No, you owe me money because I babysat your kid while you were hit on at the bar. Nobody hit on you tonight. Can you show me? No, no. That other day, <laughs> that other day when I babysat your kid for an hour and took took him listen, into my heart listen, as like a father figure and let other dudes hit you at the bar while I was spending quality time with your son. Yeah. Come on, come on. Oh, you're gonna go solo? Yeah, that's what they call a uh, stand up comedian, right? So uh, I spent the last Bring majority the of about the four hours of my night uh, almost vomiting thinking about this moment. Woo! No, literally. All right. I, 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 if I do vomit, I will bring my shop back to my room and clean it up, T, and I promise, because uh, I'm actually facing one of the biggest fears in life. If I'm not funny, I don't care. I want you all to know that I took a step and I promised myself that if I came here to, I would shake more, you know, I hope you all know. And I know some of you have been in this position of these, like I'm literally facing my biggest fear. Yeah. Good job. All right. Good job. All right. I am literally beyond grateful that it came with everyone in this room because uh, I didn't throw up the house. I'm not gonna throw up here. Thanks, Tina, for the soda water. <laughs> but uh, as I was walking here, I'm walking here, and I'm, I'm so walking. I'm looking back at the apartment. I'm like, oh no, no, you're going back. You're not gonna go do the security ghost. It's gonna be you're, you're nobody's gonna laugh at you. I'm like, dude, if nobody laughs at you, it doesn't matter. You're fucking stupid. You're gonna laugh at yourself later for making fun of yourself for being a fucking idiot trying to pretend like you know what you're doing when you never know what you're doing, and nobody knows what they're doing. So who the fuck cares? Nobody knows what they're doing. And it's like, oh, Tina's gonna be there. And I fucked up with the vape pen again. And I'm overthinking this. Stuff. And I'm walking. And I'm looking back at the apartment. I'm like, go back, go back. And then I'm like, you know what? Fuck the shit. I can do this. I'm like, you're gonna love me. You're gonna do this. You're gonna get there. You got this. You can handle this. Nobody. Who, who, who's, who's in your way but you, Angela? Look how small you are. Like, you're not even that big. I'll fuck you up. And I'm like, no. You chase it to yourself. And it's like, I'm talking out loud walking out of the complex while people are walking by me like, oh, these motherfuckers are gonna think I'm crazy. So I'm leaving the apartment complex talking to myself, hoping that when I get here, I'm not gonna embarrass myself. And I was like, dude, you embarrass yourself just walking around. Like, fucking it up. It's true. No, seriously, I did. I embarrass myself every day. Like, I just open my mouth and I'm like, you are full of embarrassment. Like, I'm pretty sure I think more about what I think other people think of me and waste a lot of my fucking time. Like, I lay in bed thinking about, what I said the other day to Doug that I was kind of stupid. <laughs> Pretty much everything. Told him but... his jokes sucked. It's kind of judging. It told him he wanted to be a comedian, judging another comedian. Mm -hmm. No, I don't fucking care. To be pretty honest, so I mean, that's, I mean, I do. I, I think, I think, I think about those things, and um, it makes me reflect. And I think I don't ever want to be a comedian. That's not really what I want to do. I don't want to stay. I really would like to be sitting down. Actually, I think the stand-up comedian is totally overrated. Why you all get to fucking sit and I have to stand? I have two kids. Who here has two kids? Raise your hand. No, none of you. Oh, you do? I'm sorry. For yeah. That. We all oh, got two kids. oh, I know you. Oh, you got. I'm so sorry. And they go, oh, it only gets worse. <laughs> they never say it gets better. Nope, never. They go, oh, it just changes. Gets, it gets. That's what they say. It changes. Yeah. yeah my daughter learned how to get potty trained today. Uh, yeah. That was fun because uh, she was, mommy, mommy, come here, look, look, look. And she thinks I give a shit about her shit. I don't. <laughs> but guess what I have to do? Show me what you do as a parent. If you're a parent, show me what you do when a kid takes a shit. Show me. Show me your enthusiasm. Show me how fucking excited you are for your kid taking a shit. You're like, yay, yay, I don't really. They took this fucking long, Riley? You're three. Like, I really expected this to take less time, but I have to be enthusiastic about everything my kids do. Everything. Because if you're not, then you grew up to be like me. And you're just like standing up there hoping someone will laugh, laugh, anything. You're like, hmm, I have trauma and abandonment issues, and I like soda water. Not when it's flat. <laughs> I really don't care at this point anymore if I make people laugh in a group. I've met most of you here alone, and I've had great experiences with the magician. And, uh, yeah. and I wonder where Brian with a Y is. And I've actually 
actually haven't met any of all of you, which is so funny because uh, we all know Cash, right? Who here knows Cash? Raise your hand if you know Cash. That's my son. Yeah, I named my son Cash. Yeah, because Bitcoin was nothing at the time, so I just was like, I guess Cash will work. <laughs> I didn't really there was of this new thing everybody keeps talking about. I keep coming in here and everyone keeps coming up coin something. What is this thing that we're all talking about now? Yay. What is it? What is it? You all know. No, nobody knows Coinbase something. I don't, I, I don't know. I, I'm not with the times. I'm really not really good Coinbase with anything. Coinbase is where you can buy crypto. Yeah. So I don't know. It's a big thing, and I feel yeah, wicked. It's like the easiest on ramp if you want to get a crypto dance. Yeah. You know where I want to get? Everybody's Fucking nowhere. Me. You know where I like to go? Me. Nowhere. You know what? Everyone's like, why do you stay in your apartment all the time? I'm like, because uh, this is where the fuck I want to be. Why? I'm like, because there's no people and there's Instacart. Like, thank you, 2021. <laughs> I think the coronavirus. I, I'm sorry. I really do. I honestly, I, I didn't like people beforehand. Now I have an excuse to be like, please stay away from me. Don't touch me. And when it ends, like, I don't want you to get that close. And I mean that in the nicest regard. We did lose our pet. Chaos. He didn't die of COVID, but he died during the COVID, and it was pretty sad. And I, I, I felt for the moment. It was, it was, it was, it was devastatingly sad to like have a pet have to go in the COVID. But I was like, you know. He did it for a good cause. And I love I love my mom's dog. And he, you know what? We're not gonna go morbid. We're not gonna get sad. We're not gonna think about the sad things in life. Cause then that would be disturbing, right? Like you don't wanna ever get sad, you never wanna go to that place. Yeah, no, no, don't ever go to that sad place. Don't ever cry. Because that would fuck you up, right? Like ever having any emotions or feelings or expressing yourself. Don't do that shit. Don't don't ever tell anybody like, hey, how are you today? I'm doing good. No, you're a lying ass sack of shit. I'm feeling real sad. Okay, no. my vape pen's not working, and I already saw Tina twice today, and I can't <laughs> fix it. So she's gonna judge me for faulty idiotism. Oh, it was green. I'm gonna let you take it home. I'm gonna try. It is green. I told you it was gonna turn green, and no, it did. I see, I see. And I'm gonna record another there. video for you. With that being said, thank you all for letting me stand up here and make a fool of myself. And you know what? I didn't throw up, so I guess there's a clap. Yeah. Congratulations. I have better shit when I'm not in my own head. Thank you all for listening. And Doug, uh, take it home, which I don't think we're going to do. Guys, the party's just getting started. Let's hear it. Yeah. For Angela. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I think we may have just seen the birth of a star. It's like she had 10 years under her belts. I, I gotta follow, I gotta follow Angela now. This winter. Um, that's, that's what I love about comedy. We just saw somebody who got out of their comfort zone and became instantly comfortable. Good I had job. goosebumps there watching her because she is a natural performer and I, I love you so much. I'm so happy to know you. You were the first person I met here and it's the reason I come back and you are so good. Oh. No, no, Doug really is the reason. Like, uh, I came here and uh, he was a comedian and I was, I was going through something and I was it was just very like divine timing, and uh, thank you. She's thank basically you. saying I'm a really great guy, you know. You are. So cheers for that. Thank you. So awesome. Yeah. She wasn't even gonna get on stage, guys. She she was like not going to go on stage, and then all of a sudden she ends up here. That's crazy. Oh, like I was gonna try to help you out at first, Maybe. then you're like, get the fuck off, man, and you took over. It's like this is my own show now, and then you you Actually, freaking you know nailed it. Let me, let me go with the life in the clouds. Ooh, wow. Hey, anybody ever been on a blind date? Mm -hmm. Was it awkward? They were blind. Oh my God, man. Like, I've never been on a blind date, but I, I have been on a deaf date, which was very awkward. Long, long moments of silence, more than any on uh, any other dates on this deaf date that I went on. Uh, the main problem was that I didn't know sign language. So the whole thing was awkward and everything. Um, like half the time, I didn't even think she was listening to me. Oh, sorry, I just wanted to say thank you. 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 Thank you.
thank you to Ryan for this evening on any part of it. That's sign language. Thank you. Great job. Just so you know, next time you want to. Sign language. Have... You got to head out? Thank you. Yeah. I have a kid, remember? God bless you. Go take care of that cash there. Thank you so much for coming out. Uh, be in touch with me on Instagram because uh, I want to send you a video. Not that kind of video. Wait till you get the video. You know, I like to send dick pics to big. Send me your FICO score, not your dick pic. I like to send dick pics out to ladies, but they're pictures of Dick Clark. And they're like, what? And they're like, huh, this guy's kind of funny. He must have a big dick. Um. But yeah, this death date, you know? So like at the end, I, I signaled for the check because it was about time to end this death date. And uh, she recognized that, that I was checking out. And I was like, if she understands that, maybe uh, she'll understand, maybe I could convey something to her with my hands and maybe speak to her in some kind of sign language, you know? Not professionally or anything, but. So at the end of the date, I gave her one of these. I was like, eh, eh, eh? <laughs> And uh, I don't know what she signed back at me, but it was really fast and very aggressive. Um, the date didn't end well. That's the last time I ever go out on a deaf date. 